An annual awards show offers a chance for celebrities to promote themselves and get congratulated for a job well done. All they have to do is stand there, look pretty, and say thanks when another pretty person hands them a trophy. Or as they hand a trophy to somebody else. Sometimes that's apparently too much to handle, and a few stars have cracked under the pressure and made fools of themselves while the world watched on TV. Here are some of the biggest award show fails of all time. Sam Smith he may have a comically generic name, but Sam Smith is also an Oscar winner, having won Best Original Song for Writings on the Wall from the 2015 James Bond film Spectre. However, Smith's acceptance speech may forever overshadow the song's critical and commercial success. During the speech, the openly gay Smith dedicated his win to the LGBTQ community, saying, I read an article a few months ago by Sir Ian McKellen, and he said that no openly gay man had ever won an Oscar. Smith's message is inspiring, even if his pretense was faulty. The article he referenced featured Ian McKellen lamenting how no openly gay man had ever specifically won the Best Actor Oscar. Whoops. Other gay men actually have won Hollywood's biggest prize, such as Elton John for Best Original Song and Dustin Lance Black for Original Screenplay. Smith soon tweeted an apology, second openly gay man to win an Oscar or third or fourth or a hundredth. It wasn't my point. Faith Hill as a country superstar for more than a decade, Faith Hill seemed like a lock to win Female Vocalist of the Year at the 2006 Country Music Association Awards. She'd had a big year with the number one album Fireflies and smash hits like Sunshine and Summertime. Her only major competition in the category was recent American Idol winner Carrie Underwood. When presenter Miley Cyrus announced Underwood as the winner, Hill reacted a little less than graciously. It seemed like Hill embodied some bad combination of diva and sore loser, but in the aftermath, she and her team tried desperately to wash off the stench of negativity. In a statement, Hill said, The idea that I would act disrespectful towards a fellow musician is unimaginable to me. Kanye West at the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards, the video for Taylor Swift's country song You Belong With Me won Best Female Video, beating out memorable clips by pop juggernauts, including Beyonce's Single Ladies. Swift, mouth agape in a genuine surprise, took the stage to collect her moon man. But halfway through her speech, Kanye West famously rushed the stage, took Swift's mic, and opined, Yo, Taylor, I I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time! The cameras then cut to Beyonce in the audience, looking quite embarrassed. Then Wes shrugged, handing the mic back to a shocked and defeated-looking Swift, and left. Now that's just rude. Miguel one of the big draws of the 2013 Billboard Music Awards was R&B singer Miguel, who was there to perform his huge hit, Adorn. At one point, the crooner got so into the music that he decided to jump from the main stage to a small side stage, which sat on the other side of a pit with a small group of lucky fans. But Miguel misjudged the distance, and then this happened. Miguel continued with the song sitting down for a while, but seemingly no worse for the wear. After the show, Miguel met up with the woman he landed on and tweeted his relief that she was okay. Okay, he's gonna make up for it. I, I, I don't want to speak for Miguel. Let's Miguel, put him on the spot, <laughs> Miguel, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Warren Beatty. At the 2017 Academy Awards, Moonlight's Best Picture Award was accidentally presented to La La Land. It's the biggest goof in Oscars history, and one that will be talked about for years. In a scene that seems right out of a movie, Warren Beatty opened the sealed envelope, but then paused, seemingly confused. <laughs> Beatty then passed the envelope to Faye Dunaway, who swiftly looked down and announced La La Land as the winner. As that film's producers gave their speeches, show staffers rushed in and confusion ensued. Finally, La La Land producer Jordan Horowitz approached the mic. There's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Moonlight, best picture. So what happened? One of the PricewaterhouseCoopers accountants gave Beatty a Best Actress envelope in error. It read Emma Stone, La La Land in full, but Dunaway had just seen the movie title and rolled with it. I opened the envelope and it said, Emma Stone, La La Land. That's why I took such a long look. John Travolta 
At the 2014 Academy Awards, John Travolta was there to introduce Adina Menzel, who was there to belt out Let It Go from Frozen, which would go on to win Best Original Song. When Travolta was supposed to just say Adina Menzel and get out of the way, he didn't somehow. He said this instead. Please welcome the wickedly talented one and only Adela a year later, Travolta explained on Jimmy Kimmel Live how he so spectacularly messed up a task as easy as reading off a teleprompter. He said, oh, by the way, we've changed the, uh, Adina's name to phonetic spelling. I went, but but what, what, what do you mean? Go! 